everybody, it is the first week in March and you're tuning into the Big Purple Couch, the University Students Council official talk show. I'm your host, Ali Chasel. And your co-host, Grant Glazer. It's so, I want to say it's nice to be back, but let's be honest, it's really not that nice to be back. <laughs> well, it's good to be back here. It, it is. Oh, good right? to be back yeah. on the couch. Exactly. Yeah, so it's not exactly good to be coming from the most amazing weather in Fujikana to cold, blizzarding weather. Well, talking about amazing weather, because I've been in it all week. Yeah. Shun Shine, shine some light on me about your experience in Mexico. Uh, Dominicano, Dominic my man. Oh. It is the Dominican, and it was really, really fun. A lot of people, a lot of other students went. Yeah. We went to a different resort, mm -hmm. um, so it was very calm, very peaceful. I went on a cigar-making yeah. class, so I felt super macho. How, how I felt really cool. Did you get to roll the leaves and everything? Fun fact. Please. One cigar, one tobacco plant. There's five tiers of leaves. Each leaf goes into one cigar, so wow. it's all organic and... So you're very whole. You had your own set of Cohibas when you left. Yeah, might have bought ten. Top class. Okay, well let's jump back to here for a second. Yeah. Because my my ha mind wasn't in Dominican. Yes. Um, I'm sure you've heard about the craziness that's been going on in the blogosphere about a little known man by the name of Charlie Sheen. Oh, I love it. It's he's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. He just joined Twitter. Yep. He, oh, that's big news. He's, he's absolutely insane. He's absolutely crazy, and it's really great to watch. And two of the biggest things I think I I've heard coming from his neck of the woods yep. is on Twitter, pound tiger blood okay. and pound winning. Winning. That's his whole thing. Winning. He considers, because his lifestyle now entails a porn mansion. Yes. And, uh, you know, his kids are running around in it as well, and which then is hookers uh, good and parenting. Yeah, yeah. There's crazy. goddesses, a.k.a. ladies of the night, I think. But um, He's insane. He's been on 2020. He's been on Dur Good Morning America. Yeah. And he's essentially going around, and he, he's bashing AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. He thinks it's ridiculous. And two and a half men, you know. Yeah. They, they essentially gave him a career again, and he's yeah. totally trashing them. Trash so it fully. It's they have a wonderful trash wreck to watch. It's, it's horrendous. It's on hiatus. If you like the show, I'm sorry, but it's been stopped. Yeah. Pending his, uh, rearranging his life. Yeah. It's insane. Along with that, uh, as far as celebrity stardom is concerned, we just had the Oscars. Yes. God, I'm so disappointed. Yes. Because I love James Franco. Yes. I loved him. But how, like, horrible was it? You know, it's Ho supposed to be the young and hip Oscars. Well, I'm I sorry know. to be young and hip. James Franco, you shouldn't look like you just smoked a bomb. True, exactly. To be honest, him and Anne Hathaway, who were hosting, they just seemed, I mean, Anne, she was giving it her all. She was yeah. fine. He kind of just kind of stood there. Yeah. And he didn't really, ha I mean, he needed a Red Bull or something. I mean, yeah, he needed exactly. to go on with it, but he just seemed blah. Even when he was nominated and he was talking about it, he's just sitting there kind of backstage. It was a big flop, big but I'll flop. tell you what won't be a big flop. This episode today, nope. we have a wonderful interview talking about a London art exhibit, and we have a few segments to throw to, all of which entails a really great show. Thanks for watching. <laughs>